from our North Idaho newsroom. Hopefully you'll never see one, but if you do get a ticket from Idaho State Police, expect to see some changes starting now. The law enforcement agency is making the switch to an e-ticketing system. KXY 4's Tanya Dahl live in Post Falls tonight. Tanya, what can we expect? Well, Dave, a few new things. No more handwritten tickets, a quicker processing time, and a ticket that looks more like a receipt you get at the grocery store. Take a look. Almost 13 years started in 1997. Idaho State Police Trooper Ron Sutton clocks many hours on the road. Behind the wheel are walking along busy highways. The reason I'm stopping you is it doesn't appear that your brake lights on the trailer are working at all. Stopping violators can be dangerous and time consuming, but someone's got to do it. One of the most dangerous things that our police officers do is, is be on the side of the highway, either standing or parking on the side of the highway. Under the old ticketing system, troopers verified driver's information through dispatch. Idaho 1 Mary 6 2100. And then had to handwrite tickets. But starting today, Sutton's job is getting easier. The uh, citation process goes from about five minutes to about a minute. All ISP patrol cars are being equipped with an e-ticketing system. It'll allow troopers to quickly scan driver's license barcodes. They'll take the information from the barcode and populate it into our program that we use to run driver's checks. The software system then reads out the driver's information to the trooper. If a citation has to be issued, it's instantly printed out. Before the switch, ISP spent about 21 cents to issue a ticket. Now it'll cost around 12 cents. Besides saving money, e-ticketing means less people spending time on the side of busy roads. The less time that I have to spend out there and the violator has to spend out there, it's safer for everybody involved. And ISP says that new e-ticketing system cost about $900,000 and it was funded by a federal recovery grant. Reporting live in Post Falls, Tanya Dahl, KXLY4 HD News.